now we will see how to install cloud nuke so i'm using mac so i'll just follow this command which is pu install cloud nuke so after a few seconds we can see my installation is done and i have just fired this cloud nuke version command so my version is 36.4 okay now let's explore the cloud nuke command So this is just the help and it will display like how to use this uh, tool. So if we do uh, cloud new AWS, it will uh, go ahead and uh, find all the resources, AWS resources, and it will uh, delete that. So it is like highly destructive command. So before running this, you should be clear that you don't need any resources in your account. Okay, if you do the default AWS, it will uh, go and delete as in the description like default VPC, security or whatever are default things it will uh, delete those things so you can also include and exclude specific regions so if you uh, go by default it will delete all so uh, maybe if you want uh, only for a particular region you should just include the specific region now inspect will uh, like uh, not delete that but it will let you know that what are the resources it is going to delete so let's uh, check first uh, like how to use the inspect uh, command so i'll just use uh, aws cloud new inspect dash aws and as my region ap dash south dash one this is like uh, the region of india mumbai so we'll see what all are the resources there and what all things it is gonna delete or destroy so it has just gone ahead and uh, performing the search operations uh, using this tool and you can see like the target region is ap south one these are the resources uh, which is uh, the type of resources uh, in the account and uh, like is there any onion layers kms and all it is mentioned false okay cool so finally we have the result we can see uh, like it has ec2 key pairs uh, and these are the keys and then it has some log groups which is this and then it has uh, identified and found some ec2 subnets internet gateway network uh, infrastructure security group etc and it doesn't find any other uh, thing here uh, like uh, basically these things are uh, the nuke will delete now let's see how we can set up the uh, credentials uh, to connect to our aws account so there are multiple ways uh, so i'll go through the first the easiest way which is using uh, aws command so before that you should have aws cli installed in your uh, uh, machine so let's uh, fire the command so once the installation is done, uh, you, you can uh, put this command uh, AWS configure. So it will ask for uh, providing your AWS access key. So for the for the AWS access key, you can just go to the users you have in your AWS account. Uh, just select your own user, go to the credentials, and you can uh, create an access key from by clicking here. So I already have generated this, so I'm just skipping this part. And you need to enter the access key. Then you need to put the same secret key. Now secret key is uh, generated only one time, so you should keep it somewhere uh, for further usage. And then, uh, like the default region, if you want to use this particular region, it's okay. Just press enter. If not, you just need to mention the uh, region name. So once you do that, what it will do is it will uh, go and feed uh, all these credentials uh, in your uh, AWS uh, in, uh, home. In, the, in your home directory dot aws and then credentials files it will feed all those things and uh, just don't worry about the access key secret key because once the tutorial is done i'll be deleting all these things so i mean there is no use of this uh, okay so by default uh, once you ex put the access key secret key it will be here like using the aws configure command so if you want to have different different uh, login via different different user you can create different profiles for them with the access key secret key and the region okay what is the other way uh, to do if you don't want to uh, have this file what you can do is you need to simply run aws uh, export command and then you need to do aws access uh, access underscore key and then you need to uh, put your key here similarly uh, for the other case you need to do aws underscore uh, secret underscore access underscore key and you need to give the secret key here and then you need to export your regions so you can just say aws default underscore region so by default which region it should be so you can just mention it here 
there are various other parameters you can set like the default output uh, so if you just need to put aws underscore default underscore output equal to json or whichever format you want so once you do that and your setup is good you should be able to list uh, aws resources so if you run just simply aws s3 ls command it should list all the buckets in your account so this means your command is successful and the setup for the credentials is success Okay, so since we have the uh, credential setup ready and we are able to connect to our AWS command and list all the resources. So let's go ahead and uh, delete some default resources. So the command is cloud nuke and then you can just put this AWS default AWS and then I'll just put the region because I don't want it to delete from all the regions. So it will be a, a big thing and it will keep on running. So let's see what all things it can uh, delete. So it says like uh, this has listed all the resources and this is the VPC uh, which is new cable. Uh, so it's just asking us for the prompt like are you sure you want to uh, list all new cable resources. So for confirmation you just need to put new or if you don't want just put control C to get out of the. So it is nuking our currently uh, VPC. It will take some time. So we'll get back in a short while. So as we can see, it has deleted our VPC. So let's get to our uh, AWS console and see. Okay, so I'm into my AWS console and it has deleted the default VPC. So let's go and see there. And we can see we are in the AP South one region and there is no default VPC here. So it has deleted that. So next, next, uh, let's explore other things it uh, can help us to delete. So I'll just go with the cloud new help command again. And this time I am gonna delete uh, using AWS. I'm in cloud new AWS and I'll give the region APS south dash one. So you can also run a dry run to check what all things it can delete. So right now I wish to delete all the resources, uh, whichever uh, resources can delete from uh, Mumbai region. Okay, there's a typo in the command, so I'll just give a dash. Okay, it will take some time, so uh, we'll get back after a few uh, minutes. So it has deleted uh, certain, uh, I mean, it has detected certain resources which can be deleted or new cable, and others it has just put a dash. So probably those things are having dependency, hence it uh, may not be able to delete. So we can check later with force command whether it can delete that. So I'll just confirm using new command okay so certain things like it cannot de delete because uh, we can see like the db parameter group cannot be deleted because it is the default uh, one uh, which is restricted by aws and we can see like what all things it has uh, deleted so actually uh, it didn't detect uh, like it will delete the s3 bucket i mean it didn't say new cable uh, with the tick option but i think it has gone ahead and deleted all the uh, bucket itself uh, with the content inside that so let's go and uh, verify so this is the current state and these all things are expected like the the parameter group and all it is by default aws doesn't allow to delete that so let's see if our aws is uh, clean so i'm into my bucket here where we can see like the previous session uh, i didn't refresh and these all were the buckets boom gone so we can see like most of the buckets are deleted and uh, it has not been able to delete certain resources so let's check what is the issue with that uh, let's try the minus minus force command for that in the meanwhile let me check if it has deleted the cloudwatch uh, log groups so if we go here we can see it is clean now how about iam other roles okay so it's not deleted the users we can see here uh, what our other VPCs? I think yeah, VPC uh, was only default, which is already deleted in the previous one. Uh, if we go and see any endpoint, so almost everything is clear. We don't even see any default security group here. So let's see if the if the force command can delete all these buckets itself. Okay. Uh, seems it has found like whatever things it can delete it has already, already deleted but it has not deleted the three particular uh, folders here so probably it is because of the contents uh, being here and it's not empty so let's try to empty the bucket and see whether it this can delete this 
Okay, seems the buckets are also empty, but it's all still not able to delete. So let's run that again. Okay, cool. I think uh, it is not able to detect these three buckets and it has not uh, deleted that. Okay, I think I found the issue actually if we go to the bucket. So those buckets were having the policies attached to that uh, for access and all. So bucket policy, so observe like Cloud Nuke, uh, whenever it has a policy, possibly it is not able to delete that. So let me delete the policy and then we can uh, run the command again. Okay, cool. So I'll run the cloud new command again. Uh, there is no need of force. Hopefully, it, uh, it should be able to delete the bucket for now. Okay, it has done its work. Let's see if it is deleted. Uh, no, it's still there. So I believe this is a bug in cloud new. So I'll delete the buckets uh, for now by myself. Okay, so anyways, it's cool. Like we can see, like most of the resources we were able to delete with uh, Cloud Nuke. It's only certain buckets which is not able to delete. I think it's a bug from the Cloud Nuke side. So thanks, thanks for joining for the tutorial, and we have seen the hands-on part and also discovered some bug from Cloud Nuke.